Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss how we can customize a Spring MVC web configuration file. So as we have discussed in the previous video tutorial in Hello World a Spring MVC, uh, naming convention of this file would be uh, first of all uh, this uh, naming convention would be dispatcher servlet whatever whatever servlet name you, you have hyphen servlet.xml but sometimes suppose if you have a requirement to customize this file name or suppose if you have a more than one uh, web configuration file then how we can configure these things in web.xml or deployment description this descriptor so that we are going to explore so i have created a project a spring mvc custom config name web app and that is almost replica of my previous video tutorial if you if you have could would have watched my previous video tutorial that is files in files are the same over here so here i have a configuration file deployment description web configuration file and here just i have registered dispatcher servlet as a controller in web.xml now uh, here I have a controller class which I have copied from previous example hello world controller which contains two request handler method welcome and welcome again welcome again and uh, these two request handler method is basically handling get uh, HTTP get method and URL pattern of this first is slash and URL pattern of second request handler method is uh, slash so you can uh, welcome again something like this right and if i run this project then let me show you the output and here we have a spring configuration file here there i have registered internal resource view resolver which is, who is responsible to resolve the view name and we have a, a context colon component a scan for controller as well as service class and here i have a service class right so which contains two uh, welcome message and welcome again message uh, which is getting called from the controller right so here we have just auto wired this service and these two service method we are calling from here that's it so if i run this application then let me show you the output so here we got the output from the first request handler method right so this message waiting basically we are getting from here if you want to invoke this method then you will have to specify slash welcome again so you'll get the output from the second request handler method and that we are getting now let's let me stop the server let me close the all files and here we want to rename this file name as something like my app server.xml and here i'm going to create another xml file so copy this file and paste in this location i would say uh, beans.xml and beans.xml what i will do uh, i'm going to delete this controller scanning and this beans configuration i'll keep only component scan for service here and this file i'm going to keep as it is so here uh, this component scan for service i'm going to delete because this line I have kept in this configuration file so as of now now I, I have a two configuration file right wins.xml and my app server.xml in real scenario you can have a n number of files now if I run this application then you will get an error right so, so here what we will have to do now so application will try to search the file name dispatcher uh, dispatcher sub, uh, hyphen server.xml that is the naming convention by default so to override that default behavior you will have to specify first of all go to the servlet tag and here you will have to specify init param right and that is nothing initialization parameter in case of servlet and here you will have to give the param name so param name always you will have to specify uh, context context config location this is the name always will have to specify and this is guys case sensitive so here c should be a small first c should be a small second so is c is capital and then l is capital so this is a case sensitive and i'm going to specify param value right and param value you can specify fav uh, 
hyphen in a inf web enough slash mm, first configuration file we have a my app server dot xml so that name and after comma comma separated a relative path you can specify over here and second file we have a beans.xml so i'm going to write beans.xml that's it and you are done now let me run this application again and check it out whether this modification is working properly or not now here we got the output right so this is output we are getting from the first request handler method right first request handler method if you want to invoke second request handler method then we get the from output from the second request handler method so here so basically how flow goes that flow is spring mvc flow already we had discussed in the previous video tutorial but uh, uh, let's explore it again when you basically when you hit this url let's talk about the first url when you hit this url the, then http is the protocol http is the hypertext transfer protocol when you want to send requests from browser or any client to the uh, your application right which is deployed in the some there on the wave or application server then you require the http or https now localhost is the server name where your application is running now 8080 is the tomcat port number where your application is running now this is your context root or you can say project name after that whatever you are getting that is a url pattern so here slash is the url pattern when you hit this url so basically dispatcher servlet intercept the request and basically dispatcher servlet contact to the uh, 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 dispatcher servlet basically consult to the uh, basically handler mapping and handler mapping will try to scan right all handlers which is uh, uh, you know uh, this package because this package we package we have registered in the uh, this uh, configuration file right so that will start scanning all classes which is available in this package and classes which are annotated with the other controller and that will try to find the method which is basically annotated for the url mapping slash and request as the gate so basically here when we, we hit this url then this request is going to the gate method right so so from by considering the url pattern that is slash and considering again and plus considering the http method gate so this method is matching if in an application any other application is matching matching with this combination the combination of these two then you will get an error because there will be some ambiguity but here we have a unique combination of these two and this method is getting executed so here method name is irrelevant whatever method name you want you can give and this method basically what does this method basically returns the model and view object so if you look into the, this constructor you can see first is the view name second is the model name and third is the model object so basically if you look into this so this is the view name this is the logical view name so actual view name our actual view name is welcome page.jsp so how that get resolved so basically again dispatcher servlets context to the uh, basically context to view resolver and that will tell the view this is my logical name of the view tell me the uh, physical view name so uh, view resolver what will do that will take this logical name of the view and that will con uh, internal resource will prefix like uh, suffix like this right so this is our prefix sorry this is our prefix so this will append this uh, uh, logical view name which is coming from the controller and suffix we have given the jsp so dot jsp right so this is the location where our jsp is available so this way internal resource view resolver basically resolves the view name right so i'm going to undo these things now now this uh, your uh, logical view name uh, resolves into the actual view name and this view is presented here presented here and here we are using the jsp expression language and we are trying to retrieve value for this key and this key is present over here right this is the key model name right and uh, this key basically holds this value which is coming from the service class right this value and that's why you are able to see this value on the 
ui right and if you again hit the other ui like welcome welcome again now in this case now url pattern is slash welcome again so and uh, http method is get so if you combine these two things then this is the re request handler method invoking invoking for that right so our uh, url mapping is a slash welcome again and http method is get so here this method is getting invoked and this method returns the model and view and this is the logical name and this is the model name and this is the model value which we are sending on the uh, ui so i hope you understood this flow of application so and these are the configuration file right so here this configuration file we have split it into two files so beans.xml we have uh, given only one line context component scan and base package i had specified this package where our service classes are available so that's this at the in this class i have annotated at, at the rate service so this uh, class will be instantiated by the spring container and uh, if we look into the another configuration file here we have uh, configured one bin that is internal resource view resolver there we have given the prefix suffix to resolve the uh, resolve the view uh, and we have registered auto scanning uh, control package for auto scanning so that uh, uh, whatever annotations like controller at the rate controller at the rate request mapping at the rate auto wire whatever annotations you are using that is uh, taking care by the spring container that's why we have uh, listed uh, this package for the auto scanning as well right so i hope you enjoyed learning this video uh, this code i am going to put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description itself uh, uh, if you have any query or any questions related to the spring nbc then please do post below to this video i will try to answer those queries as soon as possible and thanks for watching this video